To be an explorer to me is to push into places where I am uncomfortable. It must have gone that way because down climbing this would be spicy. Yeah, I mean, that looks kind of spicy. I really love to go places where there's no maps, where nobody's ever been before. That's like my sweet spot. And by doing that, I'm putting myself physically and mentally into places that make me uncomfortable. I seek out suffering, and that's because through suffering that I get to know myself a lot better. My name's Hillary Nelson, and I'm a ski mountaineer and a mother of two boys. I started in this sport almost 20 years ago. I have been on over 40 expeditions. And for me, it involves going to the Himalayas, to the Andes, you know, all over the globe. Probably one of my biggest accomplishments, I made the first female link up of two 8,000 meter peaks, so Everest and Lhotse. I skied without supplemental oxygen, Cho Oyu, which is another 8,000 meter peak. Most recently, I made the first ski descent with my life partner, climbing partner, Jim Morrison of Lhotse. Uh, the first time that peak had been skied and it tops out at almost 28,000 feet. So I live in Telluride, Colorado. I've been here almost 18 years. I raised my kids here. It's really an incredible community that has been so supportive of my career path. Of course, Telluride is an incredible playground, training ground for me. So I live at almost 9,000 feet and everything goes up from here. So. I'm a ski mountaineer, but my niche within that sport is high altitude, so I can train for altitude. I mean, I've, I've been an athlete my whole life, so training, at least the physical side of training, is pretty straightforward to me. I don't, I don't often venture into a gym. Uh, most of my training takes place outside, right here in this town. The definition of success to me has evolved over the years. It used to be very black and white in that if I, I stood on the summit, I was successful. If I didn't, I failed. You have to fail. You have to fall on your face in order to appreciate what success is. And I have done a lot of that failing, and it has helped me appreciate success, and it helps me understand and redefine success. I've always had this crazy fear my whole life of having every day be the same. If I really dig deep, that's my motivation. I know that if I get out and do stuff, then I'm forever going to be learning and forever going to be having one day that's different from the last day.